Si el destino te quiso para cantar joropo, dile adiós a la vida porque se te gastó en una prueba de sonido. Una tarima largota sin público por delante y silencio por doquier. Tu arpisto escarapela unos acordes, tú dices uno, dos, probando, sí, sonido. That's it. My name is Hensley Ran Solorzano. I come from Caracas, Venezuela, and I'm a musician and a writer. Yeah. It's Germany, but uh, I, I, I would like to speak about Venezuela, um, which is the country I'm representing uh, very proudly. Um, I think the best thing about living in Venezuela is, uh, is hearing every day the Spanish that Venezuelans speak is this funny blend of um, pure energy and tenderness, uh, very rhythmic and, and so sensual at the same time. And I mean, the jokes that come from this combination alone are a prodigy of language, at least for me. The worst thing about being a writer in Venezuela is definitely um, like a sense or of this like mandatory um, pragmatic life. Um, prices of living are so high and wages are so low that um, you're constantly forced to just making money to live from day to day to survive, and um, that's drama. Uh, um, this is actually the theme of Easy Money, which is my second book of short stories, and because it is a fiction, it's not easy. <laughs> the, the best thing about Venezuela is uh, Venezuelan people, that's for sure. and. The worst thing is uh, yeah, the regime that is actually uh, living through. Um, yeah. Sometimes when I'm writing, I have this moment of epiphany. Yeah. And for me, that epiphany, it's, uh, it's a moment where I hear clearly a sound. Let's say it's like a voice, and this tells me something, and it won't leave me alone until I leave it reading. Mm. The, this is like a joyful rapture or something. And the most difficult thing about writing is writing day in and day out without knowing when this ep epiphany is actually going to happen because it doesn't happen every day, and I don't wait for it. I, I see, or for me, writing is a, it's an act of love, period. And in that sense, I mean, it's, it's like the act of a, of, of a lover that has the courage to go and do something that hasn't been done before and fail at it. And this alone is just, uh, it's like a sense of ethic. I don't know if it's a, like an exemplar uh, um, behavior, but it is a sense of ethic at least. Definitely, I think um, it's better that a state supports literature instead of, uh, of war. For example, um, I think it's better that a state uh, provides spaces of dialogue creation instead of destruction. And quite a good example is, I have to confess, the IWP. Uh, this, is, this should or can be copied or franchised, I, I don't know, but this is just a group of professional people doing what they do best and actually harvesting or foresting like new generations and this is very valuable I find. 
which is a poem uh, called Profundidad del Amor by surrealist poet Juan Sánchez Peláez. And um, this, poem, this poem goes something like Las cartas de amor que escribí en mi infancia eran memorias de un futuro paraíso perdido. And I mean, these words, they don't really have a sense, but they ring in my head like a bell. It's very loud and clear. And when you read a poem like this, it just sticks with you wherever you go. And you can go back to it and, and it's there. One, one of the few things this poet Sánchez Pelaez wrote aside from poetry was a, a brief paragraph on how he did that poem. And he said something like, it was dictated. Uh, he just wrote and he didn't change a comma. And um, this is obviously a, a surrealist gesture or, or, a, or a wink in the eye. But what I find important of these words is that he's actually speaking about a process or uh, as a type of, of writers that feel this way, that writing is, uh, is sound. Thanks to the main library and the public library in Iowa City. Uh, um, in my desktop has been Venezuelan poetry and American folk music, uh, which is paradise for my soul. Uh, I think my process of writing, it's a, it's a very like intimate process and cannot be forced or changed. I've tried, it cannot be. And, um, but however, Iowa City, I have to admit, um, its people, its, uh, its beautiness, uh, its peacefulness, uh, you know, um, provide like a, a sort of a idyllic environment to let yourself go. Uh, keep on doing it, please. <laughs>